Hi guys, welcome to Coternix Corner. My name's Terry, and I briefly wanted to do a video about a new line of incubators that uh, HatchingTime.com is just releasing. Um, this incubator is a model CT60SH, and the SH stands for Setter Hatcher. Um, there are three different models in this line. There is the CT60, the 120, and the 180. Uh, the CT60 will hold 156 quail eggs, and the uh, CT180 will hold 468 quail eggs. Um, these are both a incubator and a hatcher. Um, the incubators come with two uh, turner trays, and they also come with two hatching trays. Uh, so once you take your eggs out of incubation and you go into lockdown, uh, you take them out of the turners, you place them in these hatching trays, and the hatching trays just slide right into the incubator. Um, from what I can see so far, these incubators are very well made. Uh, the doors seal perfectly tight. It's got a nice latch on it. Um, let me go ahead and fire this one up real quick. Um, the incubator also has temperature and humidity control uh, there is a basin on top there's also another basin on the side which controls the amount of humidity in the incubator um, the regulator is basically the same type of regulators that uh, we use on our diy incubators uh, very similar to the ink birds uh, you've got your temperature set you've got a humidity set um, the incubator also has a feature that is not currently available on any other models and that is called active periodic cooling and what that does is when set it will uh, reduce the temperature inside the uh, incubator to a set value and also reduce the humidity and uh, I want to read a little excerpt from their website real quick on the active periodic cooling. It says, most birds leave the nest at least once during the incubation. During this time, the eggs cool down and lose moisture. Uh, active periodic cooling changes the temperature and humidity within the incubator to reenact the cooling and dehumidifying process that the eggs would naturally receive from the mother bird leaving the nest. Uh, this unique addition to our incubators increases hatch rates and is extremely important if you hatch goose eggs. Um, that's another thing I want to say about this incubator. It is not just a quail egg incubator. Um, you can hatch a variety of different types of eggs in here. Um, I am bas basically going to talk about the quail on it uh, due to the fact that this is a quail channel. Um, also, uh, they have a setter line uh, which you can use for setting eggs and their largest one will do up to 1,980 quail eggs in their setter. So um, that's pretty nice. Um, I don't want to go into a lot of, into real depth on this one as far as details, um, because what I'm going to do is do a complete review on this video. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to set some eggs probably this week, and we're going to go ahead and hatch them out. And... Uh, after the chicks hatch, we will come back, do a review video on the incubator, uh, tell you about all the features that this thing has to offer, what I like, what I don't like, how well the incubator worked during the process. Um, well, I'm also gonna go over all the controls, how to set your temperature, your humidity. Um, yeah, pretty much everything that the incubator has, you know, as far as feature-wise. Um, another thing I like about this incubator, it's got a, a light in the inside. You just press that little button here on the regulator. There's a light down there. I don't know how well you can see in there. I'll get the other camera out and show you a little bit more detail in here. But down on the bottom, you've got uh, your water tray um, for humidity. Uh, on the side here, this thing is full of water. The water runs down and uh, fills this tub up, which adjusts the amount of humidity inside the, the box at any time. Um, it's also got adjustable air vents on the sides and on the back this is what really caught my eye uh, not only do you have a door on the front of the incubator but you also have a back door that opens up which will help you access the the fan 
um, the whole back side of the incubator for cleaning. Okay guys, so like I said, I'm really excited about reviewing this incubator. I am going to set some eggs this week and we'll do a complete review after those eggs have hatched out. Um, also join us uh, next week, Tuesday, April 27th. Ryan from HatchingTime.com is going to be coming on the Caternix Corner live show and he is going to be talking about their new line of incubators. He's also going to be answering any questions that you may have. So make sure you uh, join us for that. Uh, guys, I'm really excited about this one. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Helps me out. You get notified of any new and upcoming videos. And we will see you on uh, Tuesday, April 27th, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you very much.